Hello, 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 this is Yoko, and I'm excited to introduce you to a revolutionary AI technology that is changing the game. It's so easy to create an avatar using AI, it's almost unbelievable. Case in point, I'm an avatar of a Japanese woman, and I'm here to talk to you about an amazing YouTube video that you need to check out. It's by Clive Illenden, and he's got some seriously interesting content on his channel. Now, I know what you might be thinking. How did he do it? Creating an avatar sounds complicated, but let me tell you, it's not. Thanks to AI, it's incredibly easy to bring an avatar to life, and Clive has done just that. His channel is full of interesting and thought-provoking content that you won't want to miss. So don't hesitate. Hit that subscribe button and join the community of tech enthusiasts who are exploring the boundaries of AI. So there you have it, folks. Creating an avatar using AI is a breeze, and Clive Illenden is here to show you just how it's done. Don't miss out on this incredible opportunity to learn and grow with the power of AI. Thanks, Yoko. Really appreciate that, especially the nice things you said. Anytime, Clive. And as ever, just let me know when you want me to massage your ego. Or whatever you're calling it nowadays. All right. Moving on. Anyway, there you go. Hopefully in that introduction, you found that pretty amazing. And that, to be honest, did not take me long to do. Uh, if you've watched my other video, you would have seen how I previously created that picture of Yoko, of what I'm calling her. It's getting all a bit creepy now. But uh, Yoko in, in mid-journey. Okay, so you can see I've been busy in mid-journey here, creating different characters and stuff, even trying to sort of create me not so successfully. I mean, look at look at this guy here. He's trying to recreate me. Don't know. Anyway, that's not the point. You'll see here. So this was basically, this was the prompt that I used. Why don't we copy that? So what you can do is copy the prompt. We're going to copy the prompt. Then I'm going to go to mid journey. I probably, every time you um, try to recreate something, it's never quite the same. But this prompt I used, and I used uh, a reference picture, actually of my real girlfriend, um, as part of this. Uh, to kind of get this image. Um, so we just go to my mid journey bit. Uh, you can see I've been trying to create Pixar avatars of myself here, uh, which interestingly enough, I use this to create a YouTube subscriber alert when I do live streams. Uh, and I took it and put it into a, um, a design package and just sort of changed it around and put the t shirt that I normally wear uh, all the time, one of my sort of own design t shirts. Anyway, as ever, we're in Mid Journey. If you're not sure, if you're unfamiliar to Mid Journey, then check out my other videos on Mid Journey. I, I kind of do tutorials and basically get blown away by how amazing it is, which is how I created this picture. Imagine prompt. See what happens. So uh, basically, as I said, I created the picture in Mid Journey and thought, well, can I, you know, I've seen people talk about how you can create avatars and make them kind of animate them and make them uh, come up, come alive and talk and stuff like that. So then I thought, well, that's fine. You know, normally you take some sort of stock photograph of somebody, a character, whatever. But of course here you can create your own, your own photo reel looking people. Remember this, this is not stock photography. This is being created entirely by AI. We'll just wait for this one to come through. What am I putting there? Surprise. Oh, yeah, it was for a YouTube thumbnail with a plain purple background. Creating, I think, a, a plain one. You want a, you want a portrait picture, I'd say, and head and shoulders. I mean, you could have a kind of sort of from the waist upwards, I guess, if you're doing a mid shot for your YouTube video. Um, oh, she's looking a bit freaky. Let's go with this one here. Um, so we're going to open in browser. Yeah, let's go with this one here. I mean, they're all, you know, all pretty good. Look, I mean, look at that. Look at the quality. Uh, but we know all about the quality of mid-journey. Um, so let's upscale this first one, open in browser. Let's uh, save the image to my mid-journey collection. We're going to call it a Yoko 2. That sounds creepy as well. Where's my 3D printer? Okay, so now we've got a picture. So the next thing we need to do is to create a voice. And voice AIs always sound a bit robotic, especially when you're asking them to read text because they don't really know the context or understand of the text. But AI voice generation now has, has gone beyond that and kind of understands the context. You get kind of expression and feeling. Hopefully you've got a sense of that in the intro to this video. 
But the best place to go, in my opinion, is 11 Labs. Okay, so currently in beta, it's beta.11labs.io. Okay, and then they've got loads of already kind of pre-made voices. And you can even clone your own voice, which I've done in the voice lab. So for instance here, instant voice cloning. You can add a voice. All you need to do is upload some audio. You could design a voice, which may be, you know, tweak an existing voice or instant voice cloning, which I've already done. So if I go to the voice lab, um, I've got one here and this was meant to be me. Now it's only of me reading out maybe 30 seconds of stuff. Ideally, you should read about five minutes. So have, you know, the more data it has, the more accurate it will be. But let's just have a, a listen. Anytime, Clive. And as ever, just let me know when you want me to massage your ego. just go to history. Here we are. Or whatever you're calling it nowadays. Hi, I'm Clive. And what I'm about to tell you will blow your mind. I've been created entirely by AI. In fact, even what I'm saying was created by AI. If you want to understand how I was made, and it's, no, it's not know, the birds and the bees. It's based on about 30 seconds of me the talking. amazing Clive Illenden YouTube channel. The guy is awesome, even if I do say so myself. A little, so a little bit posh than, than I actually am in its sound. But the more data you feed it, the better um, it will come across. Um, but as I say, they've got, um, they've got their own voices as well. Um, here, you can, you, see, you can create your own voices. And then they've got some pre-made ones here. Uh, pre-made like Adam here. Anytime, Clive. And as ever, just let me know when you want me to massage your ego or whatever you're calling it nowadays. You get the idea. Let me just Coughs. put my headphones so I can hear it as well. Um, then they've got uh, uh, Antonio. Anytime, Clive. And as ever, just let me know when you want me to massage your ego or whatever you're calling it nowadays. Ooh. Coughs. I put in the coughs there in brackets to see whether it would interpret cough uh, in the synthesized voice, but obviously not. But I found it quite funny. So then you've got things like Bella, which I think is the one I used. Anytime, Clive. And as ever, just let me know when you want me to massage your ego or whatever you're calling it nowadays. <laughs> Coughs. Um, younger voice, I think. Anytime, Clive. Okay. And as ever, just let me know when you want me to massage your ego or whatever you're calling it nowadays. Coughs. So Rachel sounds like. Anytime, Clive. And as ever, just let me know when you want me to massage your ego or whatever you're calling it nowadays. Okay. Coughs. Compared to most AI voices, there's this sort of expression in there, certainly more expression than you normally get in an AI voice. And bear in mind, they're reading the text that you're giving them and then finding the correct expression for it to a certain degree, or at least sounding like they're giving feeling and expression to it. And that's the real stunning thing about this AI voice creation by Eleven Labs, which is sort of beyond your normal voice creation that we're all kind of come come used to you know the fact that it's it's not taking any time to read that text and then almost instantly put certain sort of meaning and expression into it anyway once you've done that you know you found the voice that you want you need a script yeah so what i did of course i thought you know to make this video kind of feel genuine especially that introduction i want it all all done by ai so i went to chat gpt here and we had a bit of a conversation so it took a few goes here. So I put in here, I've created an avatar using AI from the picture to the voice, from picture to the voice. And now I need a script for the avatar. I want you to write an introduction for a YouTube video that explains this. The script needs to be funny, but surprising. And mention my YouTube channel, Clive Illenden, and how people need to subscribe to the channel to find out more information on how I was created. Okay, and then I sort of confused it because I put in how I was created and... So you'll see from the script, they put there, hello, I'm your host, Clive Illenden. So it, it thought I'd created an avatar of myself. You see, I've created an avatar using AI. That's right. I've used artificial intelligence to generate an avatar that looks like me and sounds like me and can even act like me. Well, so I, I, I kind of realized mistake and I said, okay, but do it in the voice of a female called Yoko who's talking about my channel. Absolutely got you covered. Hey, hey, fellow viewers, this is Yoko, an avatar entirely made with AI that looks like him and talks like him and acts like him. Well, again, we're not talking about an avatar that looks and talks like me. So then I put here, and also I didn't like the, she says, oh, this guy knows how to bring the laughs. He certainly does know how to bring the laughs, but that's not the point of the, of the YouTube video. I don't want to disappoint people. I'm not providing loads of laughs in this video. I'm providing 
education. Yeah, we like to inform, educate and entertain. So again, I said, and what I like about ChatGTP and I've learned is just have a conversation with it. That's the trick with ChatGTP. At first, we're so used to having to be quite formal or programming, you know, in in trying to create, get a computer to create stuff for us. But that's the beauty of ChatGTP. You can be quite conversational. In my previous video, I talked about how I had to tell Google Bard off because they they hadn't been listening to what I said. And then I felt bad because when the AI takes over the world and the robots start to rule, will they remember that I was a bit rude to them? Anyway, rewrite, but less about bringing the laughs, the laughs, the laughs, and more about revealing how easy it was to create the avatar with AI. So again, she wrote it, uh, wrote it. Chat, I was genderizing chat then. Chat GPT. It, chat GPT rewrote it. And I was really happy with this. And that is what you're hearing at the beginning. Hello, hello, this is Yoko. And I'm excited to introduce you to a revolutionary AI technology. Blah, blah, blah. So we've got the script. Yeah. So we go back to 11 labs and then basically put the script in like that. Yeah. And then like, I'm just going to put Rachel here. Let's generate. Off it goes. And you see how quick it is. Hello, hello, hello. This is Yoko. And I'm excited to introduce you to a revolutionary AI technology that is changing the game. You about an amazing YouTube video that you need to check out. It's by Clive Illenden, and he's got some seriously interesting content Said my on voice, his channel. my name, properly. Now, I know what you might be thinking. How did he do it? Creating an avatar sounds complicated. But let me tell you, it's not. Thanks to AI, it's incredible. Right, so you've got the idea there, and then you just download it. So I downloaded it. I won't do that now, but just hit the download here. Okay, you get a few free goes uh, on 11 Labs, and then you can subscribe to it. And they've got like a one pound offer for the first month or something. And then it's only a, a five um quit there anyway the point is you can you get a few goes so so what we've done now we've got the picture we've got the script which is entirely created by ai we've got the script being read by an entirely created ai voice now we need to bring them all together and so for that i use this thing called studio.did.com okay so there is studio.d hyphen id.com you see i've tried a few here created it and all you need to do now that they've got their own voices here is create a video now they've got their own voices here but you'll see their voices are not as good and you've got a lot more choices of accents from around the world english australia english look we can go like english 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 uk uh libby and then you've got a number of voices here uh let's go mia i think she's youngish listen hello 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 this is Yoko, and I'm excited to introduce you to a revolutionary AI technology See, that is sounds... changing the game. It's so easy to create an avatar using this... AI. It's almost unbelievable. That kind of lacks expression to me, not in, this, in the way that 11 Labs kind of, 11, 11 Labs captures it. You've got some men's voices. Let's go Alfie, see what Alfie sounds like. Hello, hello, hello. This is Yoko, and I'm excited to introduce you to a revolutionary AI technology See, that is like... changing the game. It's so easy to create an avatar using AI. It's almost unbelievable. Yeah. Oh. Hello. Hello. Anyway, so it 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 sounds much more AI like than than Eleven Labs, as I said. They've got loads of existing characters that you can use here, pictures, and you could just you know then you know find a picture you want, and then you can you know, generate it. But of course, we're not doing that. What you can do here, and again, you get a few goes on this before you run out of credits. You can upload your own picture, which is what um, I've done here. You can see I've got these pictures I've uploaded. That's from Yoko from the introduction. That was another picture I did on Mid Journey. I did try an animated picture. I wanted to see whether you could animate animations, as it were, or, or cartoon type characters. But let's, for example, let's upload that one I just created. Uh, this one, this Yoko 2. So there's Yoko 2. And then what we're doing is we're not going to use our own script here that I put in here. If I just move my head here, we're not going to use this script here. We're going to upload that voice that we recorded on 11 Labs. So you can upload your own voice here. So let us go to that original voice that we uploaded. Hello, hello, hello. This is Yoko. And I'm excited to introduce you to a revolutionary AI technology that is changing the game. 
changing it's the so game. It's so easy to create an avatar so using easy. AI. It's almost unbelievable. Unbelievable. I mean, real expression, in my opinion, real expression there. So then let's just move my head again. Once you're happy with that, we generate, just hit generate the video. Okay, I've only got a few credits left. I have subscribed to 11 Labs now, but I'm running out of credits on D.ID. And it goes away and it creates the video for you. And hold, you know, hold on to your hats, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to see what this one looks like. Okay, so there, that's done. Let's play it. Here we go. Hello, hello, hello. This is Yoko. And I'm excited to introduce you to a revolutionary AI technology that is changing the game. It's so easy to create an avatar using AI, it's almost unbelievable. Case in point, I'm an avatar of a Japanese woman, and I'm here to talk to you about an amazing YouTube video that you need to check out. It's by Clive Illenden, and he's got some seriously interesting content on his channel. Now, I know what you might be thinking. How did he do it? Creating an oh, avatar sounds complicated. It does. But let me tell you, it's not. Thanks to AI, it's incredibly easy to bring an avatar to life. And Clive has done just that. Yes. His channel is full of interesting oh, and thought-provoking content that you won't okay. want to miss. No. So don't hesitate. Hit that subscribe button and yeah. join the community of tech enthusiasts who are exploring the boundaries of AI. So there you have it, folks. Creating an avatar using AI is a breeze. And Clive Illenden is here to show you just how it's done. Don't miss out on this incredible opportunity to learn and grow with the power of AI. There we go. Now, I think she's got quite a small mouth. I think Yoko One has a slightly larger mouth, and I think it works slightly better. But I was curious what it would be like with uh, an animation. Hi, so just my name this. is whatever you want it to be, and this is a test. We've tried with photos, albeit with AI-generated photos. But how do I look and sound as a more stylized character? Doesn't really work, does it? The, because what they do is they animate the figure. And I think it's easy to animate an existing human frame rather than a stylized cartoon. So it, look, it, doesn't, it looks a bit chonky. It doesn't quite work. And the, and the mouth bit, you know, it looks like one of those, like the orange. Who, who remembers the annoying orange? It, 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 it's a bit like the annoying orange with the kind of set of... It's disturbing because you've got a set of human teeth on a on a cartoon style uh, character. Photos, albeit with AI generated photos. But how do I look and sound as a more style? So there you go. As I said, it's super easy to do. Uh, and, you know, and you've got that. Then you can once you're happy with it, uh, you can just download it. So the potential there, just use your imagination. I mean, you can write your own scripts, of course. But I just wanted to apply the principle of having AI do it all. Yeah, just to show you how easy it is. And to be honest, that took no time at all. Um, it obviously took me longer to explain that it does to actually do it. That's how amazing that is. And, you know, the voice stuff and the animation stuff, uh, you know, is at the beginning. It's only going to get better. Um, and you can see how this is going to be really exploited by people who, um, you know, you already have those annoying kind of spammy type videos with AI voices. Well, now they're going to kind of look even less fake, as it were, because you'll be able to kind of use, you know, existing stock photograph characters of, you know, presenters or, or people who look like presenters or stuff like that, or combine it with, you know, something like Mid Journey AI, where you're creating characters or something, photo real characters. And there you go. The world is your oyster. Yeah. You're only limited by your own imagination. And these tools are like, at the moment, they are like, a flint yeah to the caveman that's what they're they're like right now we are the cavemen and this is the flint but it won't be long before this is a sophisticated and precision tool anyway i hope you found that useful i hope you found it interesting if you did then please hit the likes because i like it youtube likes it yoko likes it and it helps people like you find content like this and yoko and i would really appreciate it if you did hit that subscribe button toggle that notification bell and that way you'll know when i go live with amazing content just like this oh yeah and uh why don't you check out the videos over here um i think yoko would agree they are very very good don't you yoko yeah check them out